Maryland chefs, they're the best. And tonight, people gathered in Annapolis to attend Governor Hogan's annual Buy Local Cookout. WMAR 2 News, Nordea Lewis got to join in on the fun and tells us all about it. Well, the event featured so much food and culture, but most importantly, it gave people the opportunity to support local business. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great. It's always good to bring people together. Um, food always does that, so that's always amazing. It was a joyous occasion as people put on their dancing shoes and grabbed a plate to sample local dishes. The goal of the cookout is to bring business back into the community and allow people to see the eateries Maryland has to offer. It's awesome because everybody's kind of been locked away for a little while, so it's good to have an event where people can come together. and they, So to be down here in Annapolis gives us an opportunity to share our food, culture. The local cookout also showcased a chef's competition where people created a dish using local ingredients that included blue catfish or Maryland produce. The winners of the competition, Gregory James, chef of the Inn at Perry Cabin, and Jonathan Hicks, chef at the Cozy Calf, received a special opportunity. This competition is going to allow two competitors to go to the World Food Championships. I told him November in Dallas, Texas, their opportunity to win $120,000. But local chefs say the real reward is for Marylanders to see you don't have to go far to experience great food. And it's really about trying to convince people to buy local. It really helps the farmers and the people that work on the farms, the growers, the people that catch the, the seafood. You know, it's, uh, it, it's a trickle down effect. So spending money local helps a lot of people and helps our economy. Organizers plan to make the cookout bigger and better in the upcoming years. In Annapolis, Nordea Lewis, WMAR 2 News.